Good morning. It's Monday, November 8th. There's a proverb, number uh, 26 and verse 2, like a fluttering sparrow or a darting swallow, an undeserved curse does not come to rest. Now, this proverb compares two things from nature that we probably see every day. We see a, a sparrow every day, and we probably see a swallow every day. Uh, both are small birds. They're always on the move. Uh, they're easily spooked, and they don't ever stop anywhere for very long. They're always moving. Now, if I were to write this proverb today, I would keep the sparrow and trade the swallow for a squirrel. We have both uh, sparrows and squirrels in the courtyard. Uh, they come in there to eat the seeds, and they're easily spooked and easily startled, and they're always moving. So the proverb 26.2 compares um, the birds, the sparrow and the swallow, to an undeserved curse. Now, the birds and the squirrels too, for that matter, don't seem to have much in common, but the animals uh, are, are, are innocent. They're just doing what they do. They just want to eat. That's pretty much what animals want to do. They just want to eat their fill of seeds, and the squirrels will break open uh, the black walnuts. They bring them from across the street. They bring them over. They break open the black walnuts and to get the, the nut out, and they leave a little pile of black walnut shell or husk uh, there on the sidewalk or the parking lot or wherever it may be. They don't intentionally leave a mess. It's a fairly orderly pile of walnut shells, but they're doing what animals do. And so the comparison here uh, that the proverb writer brings is that they do, the animals in his uh, proverb, the, the sparrow and the swallow, do what an undeserved curse is doing, moving around. And the, the birds in Proverbs 22, 6, never settle down anywhere. And that would be like the undeserved curse. It doesn't come to rest. It, it never settles down. And while this verse tells us that a curse might go out, it's undeserved and it will have no real impact on the one cursed, on the one it's aimed at. It doesn't land on them. I don't think this proverb is necessarily discussing curses and whatever we feel about them. Uh, I think what really matters in this is the relation to what is discussed here in that we are living for God, we're doing what pleases God, and there's no curse that will land on us. When we are a child of God, when we're his people living for him, honoring him, trying to please him, no curse is going to land on us, no curse is going to harm us. We don't have to worry about someone sneaking up on us and messing things up. The, the, the writer of this proverb doesn't explicitly say that God guards us. He doesn't even mention God in, in verse 2. There's no question, though, that our Heavenly Father is the one who is watching over us, and he does not allow an undeserved curse to land on us. He won't allow curses to land on me. He won't allow curses to land on you. If something is to come my way, he knows about it, and he allows it. If something is to come your way, he knows about it, and he allows it, but it will not be a curse. It'll be for our advantage. It'll be for my blessing and your blessing. It'll add good value to my life on some level, or God won't let it stick. Jesus said God watches the sparrow, and I believe he watches us too. That's the whole point. I believe we can also believe that no harmful thing will stick to us because God's watching. Psalm 91 and verse 9, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil will be allowed to befall you. Amen. God's watching over us. God's taking care of us. Amen. That's good. That's God's word for today. What will you do with it? Let's take a minute and let's pray together. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for a great day. Lord, we thank you for uh, the word that promises morning by morning, new mercies I see. We thank you for new mercies today. Lord, we're grateful for the blessings that come from your hand. And we know, Lord, the word's true. Like a fluttering sparrow, like a darting swallow, an undeserved curse will not come to rest. We thank you for your guarding hand, your, your protecting hand. We thank you, Lord, that your eye is on us and you keep us. I pray blessing on your people. Lord, give strength, give health, give healing, give wholeness, meet our needs, we pray. Help us to be a people who please you and honor you in every way. We thank you for your goodness, and we pray this in the name of your Son. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's a great day. It's uh, sunny today. I think it might hit 60, so uh, if you can get outside for a minute, do that. Pray you have a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow. God bless you.